This is Twit. It was the New Year's Eve episode, and we were speculating about Google and home automation and how that was really the future and what are they going to do. And I I don't know if I ranted, but I kind of went off for a little bit about how Nest is really the leader in this space. They they make a thermostat, and they just rolled out a smoke detector. And wouldn't it be great? In fact, I think Google, and I I predicted that Google would probably purchase Nest, and could you imagine the merging of the two? It would be wonderful. And lo and behold, yesterday the news broke that Google is indeed buying Nest for $3.2 billion dollars paltry sum a paltry sum importantly also uh the co-founder and ceo of nest uh, tony fidel will continue to lead the business unit under in google so will continue under his leadership independently um yeah. independently and they have continued their commitment to supporting ios so it's not like they're going to yeah. abandon android um and i couldn't be happier not because i called it but because this is a brilliant move to step towards home automation because nest gets it nest is doing nest is creating interesting new devices with good ui they're they're innovating in the space as opposed to just replicating you know like as say as saying oh hey we can make a thermostat you that you control with your phone no they made a thermostat that that is energy saving and and has a different um interface and all these different aspects to it it's the right this is a great move for home automation and so i I don't even own any nest products and i'm like raving about it but um i just love (laughs) it because i rent so i can't really i I can't i don't have a thermostat i live in san francisco hey Um, you can well, I guess it depends on. Yeah, I literally don't have a thermostat. Yeah, okay. yeah, I literally don't have a thermostat. Some of my the places just yeah, don't yeah, have so, them in yeah, the apartment. So. That's true. Um, but I, I mean, I, and I know I saw and I tweeted about it. I was like, called it, and a couple of people on my Twitter feed were like, oh, st- I don't, you know, I don't want any Google anywhere near my house. And and I saw the joke. What was it? It was like, um, how many times is Google going to make me sign up for Google Plus in order to change my thermostat? Yeah, are, are your circles yeah. going to be able to, to, you know, change the uh, the, yeah. the temperature in your living room? Yeah, and- but. Regardless of those jokes, I think it's great. But what do you think? Is it you think it's a good move? I think well, you know, hey, Google at Home from two years ago has not really done a whole lot. Exactly. And uh, apparent, and you know, Google, yeah, I mean, they they instantly kind of did something pretty pretty great. They got kind of what you know, arguably one of the biggest. Uh, players in the home automation uh, mm. space right now, definitely the one that has, you know, largely the most mind share, mm. and brought them in, and now suddenly Google at Home uh, initiative seems a lot more uh, palatable. Yeah, you should get Nest stuff. You should get the Nest thermostat yeah, and the smoke detector for your, your home. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, you were you were saying I don't have Nest, but blah blah blah. Now we'll get. The Google yeah. Yeah, Nest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Although it's going to be autonomous, right? At least that's what they say. They're going to run independent. Like Waze. And, um, and, I'm, and they've got to integrate it. They've got, I mean, I don't Right. Know. What do you think about all this, Gina? Uh, I thought the price was pretty high. Yeah. Uh, although, I mean, I guess companies are worth as much as someone's willing to pay for them. And I guess $3.2 billion isn't a whole lot to Google. Um, I think Nest sounds like a really interesting product. I haven't tried it myself. I don't think that consumers buy <laughs> smoke alarms and and uh, and thermostats very very often. Like when I think home automation, I think smart coffee makers, smart refrigerators, uh, you know, lights. I think I think of of, of that kind of thing. Uh, but I think it makes a lot of sense for Google. You know, look, I, I mean, I've accepted <laughs> Google's data collection and, and the whole, all, all the convenience that comes with giving up sort of giving up privacy or at least sharing information with Google uh, for, for the convenience of things being smart and and and, and, um, and I'm getting smart services. But I still don't love the idea about the whole, the Nest thing where it knows what rooms you're in and what times. Uh, it just, just knows a lot about your location and, and, and how you're spending your time in, in, in a kind of private space. That makes me feel a little ooky. But um, but look, I'm I'm buying a new place, and I would love to I'd love to get Nest. I'd love to install it uh, yeah. and see see what it's like because it saves you money, right? I mean, that's the whole thing. Potentially, Le- Leo Laporte mm-hmm. was saying earlier today, though, that like he I, I think he's deactivated a lot of the smart capabilities yeah. of Nest because it wasn't very good at determining uh, when he was in mm-hmm. a certain room or whatever. And oh, interesting. Um, so I don't know, you know, your mileage may vary. But. Well, and as far as the price, uh, $3.2 billion, I mean, yes, that's a ridiculous large amount of money. But when you think about it, this is a company that is creating consumer products. Like there's a manufacturing yeah. and a supply chain. It's a physical product and there are factories involved and all that sort of stuff. It's not just software. So, right. you know, in addition now, Google has potential entry point into that marketplace and whether they leave nest alone or slowly fold it into you know go, you know google at home services or whatever or energy sense like we're going to talk about in a second or anything like that 
um, you know, they've already got the supply chain. And, and, you know, with the Nexus phones, we've seen now the price get run down on these. I mean, you can get mm -hmm. this unlocked for three fifty. I, I firmly believe they could probably get the thermostats down to that $99 magic price point. That would be, and the smoke detector is much cheaper. I know this because I bought it for my sister for, for Christmas. Um, the smoke detector, I think, was like 120 or something like that. And it's the kind of product that you look at it and you see the price tag and, and you see the product and you kind of scoff at it like, oh, I don't need that. But once you get it in your house and use it, right. it's like, oh, this is cool. Like it's one of those kind of, you know, moments. Yeah, so, some, yeah. some people in the chat room are wondering what this has to do with Android. And I think the implication is that with Nest and home automation stuff like Nest and, and you know, there are other products is, I mean, just think about the capability capabilities of something like Google Now yep. uh, integrating with the data that is generated from, you know, your Nest devices knowing, you know, that you're home or not, or knowing that you're, you know, you turn on navigation through Google Now and you're five miles away and it, it automatically, you know, it turns on your thermostat to a higher level so that it's warm when you get home or, you know, maybe that starts a little bit later or whatever, or, or but there's, God, there's or, integration capabilities. Yeah, or God forbid there's a smoke, dete smoke detection in your house while you're at work. It can message you. You know, right. like, like all the think about all these ways to get, you know, further connected to your house. And, you know, Jeannie, you bring up the point about, you know, data collection and things like that. But honestly, it's the use of it's the data collection for data mining so that then you can then cool your house or heat your house more efficiently and right. save an energy and save your energy bills. And, you know, and that kind of ties into additionally, um, we got a little remember last year there was a little peak of uh, energy sense. Uh, mm -hmm. Google's, you know, step towards uh, doing uh, kind of home energy management. Around the thermostat. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, so here's the, um, so we got a, uh, over on Android Police, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's an interesting little sneak peek at it um, to see what Energy Sense is kind of looking like and how it might, uh, and what, you know, what it, what it's going to look like. And if you scroll down a little more, there's the Android app version of it, so you can see right. how they've implemented it into an application format. Um, again, very similar to Nest, although a little more cartoony than Nest. Um, yeah, and I mean, yeah. we we took a look at these screenshots in December. This is yeah. just, you know, more more to just kind of point out, like obviously Google was already thinking about this kind of stuff, and then you know, hindsight is always twenty twenty, right? Yep. Now we're you know a couple of weeks into January, and they acquired Nest. Who knows how fast this deal happened? Yep. But it's very possible that all of these things are kind of converging at around the same time. So, and if you have a team that's working on home something. automation, and then you buy the the leader in it, then instant. Recently, you like Google is going to be able to not give Nest the resources they need to go further, but then to bring that knowledge into what Google is doing to make the products mm -hmm. all overall better. I mean, yeah. I think it's you know it's great. So um, honestly, going back to what I said on New Year's Eve, Google is now way way outpacing Microsoft in Microsoft's home uh, hope for the home kind of we talked about that how much yeah, kind of the, yeah, Microsoft's just really not part of that conversation at all no. and honestly if you ask me Google is now leapfrogging way past Apple I mean yeah. Apple isn't doing anything as interesting as this when it comes to it so um, I, for as as an Android user I'm excited because I think it's it'll give us even more applications to extend our you know kind of digital kind of control over our lives so that's pretty cool